Let's play with Wheel Math Edition app. And the top is 0 and it's also 10. We are going to be adding numbers on the number wheel. So we can just pick any two numbers and the number wheel will help us find the answer. So let's just add 3 and 4. Oh, and there's a line. Now it says, did you create a line? Yeah, that's the first clue. Here's the next clue. A bigger number, one bigger. Well, the 4 is the bigger of the 4, 3, and 4. So we touch 5. And then uh, the smaller number, touch one smaller. 3 is a smaller number. We touch one smaller. Oh, and look at that. We get a railroad track. Let's do that again. So again, we go... Oh, when bigger than 5 is 6, and when smaller than 2 is 1. Oh, and you see where we're actually moving toward 0 here. And when we get to 0, that's when it's going to be special. Since numbers represent things, let's look at 1 penny at 1, 2 pennies at 2, 3 pennies at 3, 4 pennies at 5, and actually when we do our five pennies when we replace those with a nickel. So there's a nickel and then we have six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. So now let's look at four plus three with pennies. And we put four plus three right with the four plus three in a line. And if we move one penny over, oh then we have five and two. And five and poo two there's 5 and 2. And of course, we can replace the 5 with a nickel. So that's, we still have the, the same number of pennies. And if we do it again, then we are all of a sudden we're at 6 and 1. And if we do move the penny from 1 again down, uh, that means that we are really at 7 and 0. And so all those numbers, 7 and 0, 6 and 1, 5 and 2, and 4 and 3 add up to the same number. And that number, of course, is 7. And so here's 5 and 5. And now we have 5 pennies plus 5 pennies. And of course, a nickel is 5 pennies. So we have 5 plus 5. And then we add 1 over. Oh, now it's 6 and 4. It's still the same number of pennies. But it's now 6 and 4. And if we move another one over, oh, now it's 7 and 3. So we do that line, and there it is. And then if we move another penny from the smaller number to the bigger number, oh, now we have 8 and 2. And look at those are a side-by-side -side parallel line right above the 7 and 3. And it's still the same number of pennies. And if we do it again, it's 9 and 1, and there's that line. And then there's 10 and 0. And there's that one. And that's awesome. And that's just how it works. They all add up to 10. Yeah. 0 is the hero. So now let's do it again. Let's do a new edition. And this time, uh, let's do 5 and 4. Oh, and we created a line. Yep, so 6 and 3. Oh, and then we're just working our way up. 7 plus 2. And again, if, we, if the 2 adds 1 here, then that goes up to 8. But then the 2 gave 1 away, so it goes up to 1. So it's the same month. So the 1 gives 1 to 8 which moves up to 9, and then the 1 is 1 less, and 0. Oh, and 0 plus nothing is 9, and therefore all of these have to add up to 9 too. So that's how it works. And look, at you just learned five different numbers, sets of pairs of numbers that add up to 9 all together, and you can see it visually. They're all the same angle. Notice in the equations that these numbers get one smaller, and the red numbers get one bigger. Now, let's do another one. So a new addition goes 7 
plus 8. Oh, and look at that. The line is straight up and down. Now, the smaller number gives one to the bigger number. So the smaller number has to go down to 6, and the bigger number, 8, is one bigger, so it becomes 9. Oh, and see, that's also straight up and down. Isn't that interesting? So now 6 gives 1 to 9, which moves up to 10. And then 6 lost 1, so it goes down to 5. And that's also up and down. Now those are all the numbers that add up to 15. 8 and 7, 9 and 6, and 10 and 5 on the wheel. But you can actually see where you could actually do 11 plus 4 straight up and down. Or 14 plus 1 would also be 15. And also 12, if you put a 10 in front of here, 12 plus 3 would also be a straight up and down. And if this was 13 plus 2. So there's four more facts that you could add to this. And you could also do 0 and 15 pairs. You could double all that to do that. Really fascinating. All right. So let's go to badges. Let's do some badges. Because badges are really about making sure you know all the sets. Now, we don't have any badges earned here yet. There's zero badges earned. And you can earn the badges as many times as you want. So let's actually do 9. We did that before. So 9, well, we know that 9 plus 0 has to equal 9. And then we just work our way down. 8 plus 1, oh yeah, also equals 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 4 plus 5 equals 9. These are all the numbers that add up to 9. We do badges. And we're doing the 10 badge. So let's just do 5 and 5. And 6 and 4. Ooh, and 7 and 3. And you see that it's numbers right across from each other. So we can jump up to 9 and 1. And then, of course, our 10 and 0 add up to 10. And 0 is the hero, so it makes it easy. And we just have two numbers left, 8 and 2. And there's our fireworks, because we ended up with actually, wow, six sets of numbers, all 12 numbers that all add up to 10. So learning those in 10 are the most important numbers. So that's really valuable to learn. Let's see what else with badges to do. Let's just try 11. Now notice those were right across from each other. So the 11's badge, well, look at this. It's 10. And of course, 10 plus one more is 11. And notice that it's just a little angle past, just a little bit past, straight across. And then... We do 9 and 2, and we can just work our way down. 8 and 3, 7 and 4, and 6 and 5. Oh, yeah. And we did all 10 numbers, and that makes five different pairs that add up to 11. Just like that. That easy. That's really cool. Okay, so let's actually do the badges for five. So we're going to do, well, 5 plus 0, of course. And you may know 4 and 1, 1 and 4, 2 and 3. Those all equal 5. And notice 5 is really important. It's like our five fingers of one hand. Fives and tens are the really important ones. Now, if we do the badge again for 15, oh, well, we know 10 plus 5, and then we also know 9, one less, and one more. We go the other way, from the 0 down, and then another up and down line is going to be 8 and 7. You see they're, they're right up and down from each other. <clears throat> and we can see that 11 and 4 would also equal 15. But we're just doing the ones that show on the wheel. And 14 and 1, and also 12 and 3 would be right up and down. And also 13 and 2 would be right up and down. So there'd be all these numbers. So you can actually add 10 to any one of these. And you're also going to end up 
with 15 as well as 0 and 15 there. So there's just lots of numbers uh, to do that. And 0 is 0, so that always tells you the answer. You can start with 0 if you're working your way down, and you can actually, actually subtract doing that because you can say, um, let's just go to addition. If you uh, want to see how it works, you can actually, if you see, let's just take a look. Let's do an addition problem. And let's, let's do it from the badges. So all those nine, you know, minus all those numbers equal the other number. Let, let's just do it from badges. So let's do um, let's do the sevens badge. Okay? So we know that we can start with seven and zero because seven minus zero is seven. And then everything down below that, you can do 7. That line is 7. And if you just want to subtract, you just go any 1. So 7 minus 1, oh, it's going to be the parallel line. So it's going to come right down here to 6. And 7 minus 3, well, it's going to be that parallel line there. So 7 minus 3 is 4. And also 7 minus 4 is 3. Because it's visual, it works both ways. And 7 minus 2 is 5. And 7 minus 5 is 2. So you can see just how all of that works. And you can do a subtraction with any of the numbers using the badges. Just start out with the number in the badge. So let's do something like um, 12. Okay? So we start out with 10. Because it's 0 and it's also 10. We can have it be either one. 10 and 2. Now, 10 and 2 obviously is easily adds up to 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. But then, then 12 minus 3 has to create a parallel line. So it's 9. And then 12 also minus 9 is 3. So you can almost have an arrow you know, pointing down here. And then 10 minus 8 is going to be down here at 4, and 10 minus 12 minus 4 is going to be 8. So we can just touch those two. And then 12 minus 5 oh, is going to be 7. And then 12, and 12 minus 7 is going to be 5. <laughs> and it's always the other number. And then, of course, 6 is all by itself. So 6 12 minus 6, you're going to hit 6 again, and there it is. And you've just found all the subtraction of 12. There actually is 12 minus 1, and then you just add your 10 there, it's going to be 11. So you can see how that works too. So there's just lots of ways to make addition work on a number wheel. Enjoy!